In this video, we take a look at five traders who use robots or robot trading strategies to trade successfully. Be sure to stick around for our last trader who turned $200 into $190,000 in one night. Trader who used robots to make $24,000 in one month. Trader Pat used his Forex Fury robot to make $24,000 on his $50,000 account. His approach to using robots in trading is very prudent. He does not let them run all by themselves. He monitors them and makes sure they are trading within certain parameters. The strategy employed by the robot is to enter trades in ranging markets after a trend line break. It only looks to make 5 to 7 pips each trade and only trades the last hour of the New York trading session. He has a stop loss of 8,888 pips, which means he essentially doesn't use a stop loss. He used a lot size of 1, which is large even for a $50,000 account. For that month between February and the end of March, he was able to make $24,000 with a drawdown of about 5%, which is pretty good. Well done, Pat. What do you think about his strategy? And what do you think about his stop loss? Would you trade like this? Veteran robot trader builds robots as a business. Alex was an accountant with an MBA, but left to trade Forex and has been trading for 20 years. He converted his successful manual trading strategies into trading robots and began selling them through his expert Forex business. He shares how robot trading has enhanced his life, giving him the freedom to travel the world while his robots are trading. Alex uses online software to manage his computers virtually while he is away. One of the most important things that Alex stresses is the portfolio approach. He stresses that when trading robots, you need to trade a variety of securities with different strategies and create a portfolio of robots in order to reduce your risk. He tests settings on his demo accounts in his basement lab, and when the set files are profitable, he introduces them to his live accounts. He trades aggressively in 30% of his accounts and knows that if some of these accounts are blown, the ones that do well more than make up for the losses. The other 70% of his accounts are very stable and profitable. Alex is now making his successful accounts available to be linked to for his clients in his paid forum. He has over 1,200 videos on YouTube and has been teaching people how to trade robots successfully for years. What do you think about Alex's portfolio approach to using robots? If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. Vlogger trades robots for the first time. Jats is a charismatic vlogger who shares his experiences looking for money-making ventures to become a millionaire. He shared his experience looking for trading robots to build passive income. Jats visited the MQL5 website and found two robots, one free and one paid, to test to see if they could generate passive income. He then purchased a subscription to a VPS, a virtual private server, to run the robots without him having to keep his personal computer on. After that, he installed the MetaTrader 4 terminal on the VPS, downloaded the trading robot, and placed them onto several Forex pairs to see how they would do over a 48-hour period. His risk was $282, and he traded with a 0.01 lot size. He actually did pretty well, considering he didn't know the strategy that was being used with the trading robot. He didn't change any of the settings and used the default setting provided by the robot creator. His profit on the paid robot was $85, which minus the $30 he paid for it gave him a net profit of $55. His profit on the free robot was $47, which gave him a total of $102 total profit for this experiment. So all in all, this was a successful test. He recommends not doing what he did, and he doesn't think trading robots are the way to go for him to reach his millionaire status, which is a perfectly good analysis since he didn't study trading and is not a trader. Any successful robot trader will tell you to not use trading robots unless you understand the strategy being used because you won't be able to correct for any problems. He did mention the fact that banks use trading robots to place their trades, and being a robot trader gives you an advantage like the banks. What do you think about Jats' experiment? Was he just lucky? If you thought Jats had good luck, you'll definitely want to stick around to the end to hear our final trader's story. Trader who can't trade wins trading competition. Lisa is a trader from Australia who self-admits that she doesn't know how to trade. 
but she uses trading robots to make the decisions for her. She has a testing process to create the best set files for her robots, and she uses several computers and a virtual private server to make it happen. She is a data analyst, so her approach to trading is strictly by the numbers and can probably be compared to Jim Simons, who used computers and data analysis to become one of the greatest traders of all time. Her testing process is the same one taught by Alex at Expert Forex. She uses one computer to backtest a number of securities to come up with viable set files for the best securities that meet her risk tolerance. Then, she takes the most profitable set files with the least amount of drawdown and forward tests them for about a month. Then, she makes adjustments to them to increase their profitability and forward tests for another month and repeats this for one last month. This process is very labor intensive with putting together up to 20 meta trader for terminals and running back tests that can take hours but according to her the results are worth it. If you look at her results, you might think so too. She has won $1,500 in a trading competition and has passed the FDMO challenge as well. She documents her whole process to winning in the trading competition with five videos and takes you step by step into how she tested the set file that won the competition. She gives you her takeaways on how she would do it differently and what would be the best approach next time. She also documents her passing the FDMO challenge as well and shows key strategies on how to stay within the drawdown requirements for the challenge. What do you think about her trading strategies? Would you be willing to put the time in to testing robot set files like Lisa? And now for our last trader who really hit a home run. Trader who turned $200 into $190,000. Our last trader had an amazing experience turning $200 into $190,000. He actually didn't use a trading robot, but traded manually. However, he used a strategy that Alex from Expert Forex has turned into a successful trading robot called the Double in a Day Robot. Thomas, a 19-year-old trader, was working the factory night shift and trading oil. He had only been trading for a year, and after blowing several accounts of up to $700, he decided to risk $200 from a credit card to see if he could turn it around. After getting a good night's sleep of about 9 hours, he went to work and placed a small trade of 0.01 lots in oil to see if he could make $1,000 for that trading session. He traded the European session that happens between 3 a.m. and 12 noon New York time. Thomas lives in Toronto, Canada, which is the same time zone as New York. After the trade started going against him, he got frustrated and threw the phone down and walked away. When he came back, he saw that he was in profit and decided to see if he could grow the account. His strategy was similar to a well-known double-in-a-day strategy that uses the equity gained in one trade as a hedge to place another trade with a larger lot size in hopes of doubling the account. Thomas expanded on this approach by increasing the lot size even more every time his equity increased. At one time he was placing trades of up to 20 lots, which is extremely risky. As the account kept getting larger, there were some things he had to consider. Should I close out with a great profit or keep growing it? How am I going to withdraw this amount from my broker? Will my bank accept this amount in my bank account? Fortunately for him, all of these things worked out, but it was definitely stressful in the middle of it. He started to see the candles getting smaller in size, and his indicators also began to show that the run he was following was slowing down. That gave him the signal he needed to start closing his larger lot size trades, till eventually he closed all of them with a $190,000 profit. He called his dad and told him what had happened. Of course, he didn't believe him at first, but when he got home and saw the account, he knew it was real. His broker is FBS, and he had no problem withdrawing the money from the account, saying it only took one day. When the money came to the bank, they called him and asked him if he was expecting that amount, and he concurred that that was the amount he was expecting. What do you think about this story? Would you have the guts to trade like this? Thanks for sticking around until the end. Wasn't that amazing? If you want more, check out our next video.